Hopefully not the aggravated hair is great. <laughs> Hi, y'all. My name is Jace Hockaday. I'm originally from Mount Pleasant, Texas. Uh, I've lived up here in Grand Prairie for about seven years now. Uh, I wanted to do this all my life. I'm a small business owner here in Grand Prairie. I sell signs. Mr. Cox, the only reason I'm doing this is so I can meet you so I can sell the city a sign. We're going to talk up here, okay? Uh, I need to sell you guys a sign. Tell Rick and them if they're dumping money into a place like this, put it in a message center, man. You can put a better result. Anyway, I don't know what I'm fixing to get up here and do. The gentleman before me got up here and told live stories. I can do that. I've had interesting live stories. Anybody from the country here? Yep. Really? Do y'all know what uh, an electro ejaculator is? <laughs> Saturday morning, I'm an alcoholic, by the way, who stopped drinking nine years ago, and my life has gotten exponentially better, amen. Anyway, back then I still drink, and uh, I came in Saturday morning, kind of hung over, and was not really aware of what we were going to do, and John D. said, well, you don't look too good this morning, and I said, I don't feel too good this morning. So he got an icebox out there in the shop, and he said, have you a couple of these, because we got a lot of work to do. I said, well, I was thinking about going on home, because my head kind of hurts. He said, no, we've got to uh, fertility test all Chili Sinclair bulls. Johnny, I've never done anything like that, so I'm not a little He said, no, it's easy. Let me show you. So he opened this box. He took out this black thing. It's about this long. It's about that big around. And you hook two wires up to it, okay? Put it up this machine, and it is a low-voltage, high-amperage machine. In other words, it's extremely painful, but doesn't really hurt the bull. Does that make sense? It didn't make sense to me either. Anyway, <laughs> Jenny brings all 20 of his bulls out there, and I'm kind of nervous. I'm kind of starting to sweat, and... Uh, he says, now look, this thing costs, this little unit costs about $1,500. Whatever you do, don't let it hit the ground. I said, well, why would it hit the ground? He said, well, you've got to slide this up the bull's anus. <laughs> have these two little notches on the side. And he said, you hold his tail down. And when I crank up the electricity now, it's going to be painful. And he's going to move around a little bit. You hold that thing in there. I said, John D., don't you think you should do that? And I'll do that. <laughs> and he said, no, Jace, that's why I'm the veterinarian. I said, okay. <laughs> so we get bull number one in the squeeze chute, and uh, you have to open the tailgate to do this. The tailgate's a thing that closes behind me, also they can't keep it. Um, anyway, we get the first one in there, and now I'm really starting to sweat. I'm wanting beer number three bad, you know what I'm saying? I have a job to do here, and it's important, and I need to do it. Uh, get the first bull in there, and he gives me a scary white jelly. I might as well go and say it. Squirts his tail on the wall of this unit, and he says, now I'm going to help you on this first one to make sure you got it. I said, okay. KY jelly all over the electro jacket, and he raises the bull's tail up, slides in there relatively easy. Bull doesn't put up a big fight. Pulls the tail down. He says, now hold that there. I said, that's it? He said, yeah, but remember, the bull's going to be kind of comfortable here in a minute. It's okay. So I'm holding it back. Of course, I'm, the gate's wide open, so I'm kind of standing back. You know what I'm saying? When he goes over there, well, he doesn't tell me. He turns that first little dog up, the bull goes, <laughs> I said, by the way, electro jacket that falls on the ground. Oh. He embarrassed me, y'all. They kind of talked ugly to me and uh, told me if that happened again, I could go home forever. Uh, he was also my daddy's veterinarian and uh, I didn't want that. So, needless to say, I did a very uncomfortable next 18 bulls, went successful. I dodged hoofs and I got. Oh, nothing I've got to tell you, I like, poop really bad when I do this. <laughs> when they crank it up, the bull can't go <clears throat> like that, but he just poops everywhere. So I'm, I'm green, I'm sweaty, I'm hot, I'm tired. We get three, but I didn't drop the electro ejaculator again. And I'm thankful. <laughs> sitting there, and I was like, God, I was worn out. So I'm sitting there, and we're cleaning all this stuff. Bullshit is everywhere. And I'm spraying down the place, and uh, I don't think we're done. He says, No, wait, you, you got to clean the equipment up, too. So I'm trying to make small talk. Somebody said something about small talk while ago. I was like, uh, you know, Johnny, how does this thing work? He said, what are you talking about? I said, well, how does inserting that in his rectum make his thing come out where you can catch semen with a cup so that you can then count the number between the red circle? He said, well, it's real easy. He said, bull is not like you and I. No kidding. <laughs> 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 
sigmoid flexure. You and I have blood vessels, and when we get an erection, that's because blood is pumping into the vessels, lengthen the broad, whatever. A bull's does not. A bull's is cords, and it's relatively the same size regardless, but when it's not erect, it has this S shape. And when he gets aroused, arouses him. Anyway, <laughs> the blood goes through there and it straightens out this sigmoid flexure, and that's what makes it come out. Well, that's what the electricity does. And I'm like, how does that not like ruin the bull forever? He's well, because it's low voltage and high average. <laughs> yeah, my electrician explained it to me. <laughs> I said, never mind, you know, I'm about to clean it out, I was just making a small dog anyway. And I said, but you know, for this little unit to make a 2,000 pound bull go and poop everywhere and ejaculate, I said, that must hurt really, really bad. John D. said, Jace, when I first got in the veterinary business and I was poor and I couldn't afford a young man as fine as yourself to clean up my stuff, John D. used to have to clean up all of his equipment. <laughs> so I was cleaning that thing one day and he said, I just got her cleaned up and so I was just fixing to test her out and the phone rang. He said, so I laid her down in the chair I was sitting in, went and the phone. He said, I got to talk to a boy and he said, I forgot I had that thing turned up on 10. And the scale went down to 10. <laughs> And he said, I was talking, and I was talking, and I said, bang. <laughs> oh, the electro jackpot. He said, Jace, I can't tell you if it hurts that bad or if it feels that bad. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm not crying. I can't be prepared. I didn't know if I was going to come back next week. <laughs> Hey, I personally uh, never had an electro jacket. 